What's going on world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nilo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at this week's forecast, seeing what the stars have in store for us. So, let's get into it. As always, shout out to all the Pisces celebrating birthdays this week. Pay close attention to this energy as it will be with you all year. So, this is a really interesting week fun week we're building towards a new moon in the sign of pisces it's pisces season magic is in the air i hope everyone is taking time to really commune with themselves and uh reflect inward and really address particular things that pertains to them in the realm of pisces because it can be a lot all right so with that said we're starting the week off with the moon in Capricorn, productive, efficient, earthy Capricorn. So I feel like this, knowing that we're building towards a, a new moon, this is an excellent time to really get ahead on what it is that you want to plant, what, what goals you want to plant for, for the new moon. So start thinking about that. Start thinking about your relationship with the material world and Saturn energy within your life. And... I've discussed this a lot with people, you know, in my astrology classes, but man, the 11th house Aquarius themes present in my life and others' lives are so profoundly evident to have the knowledge of astrology right now and experience it is really dope. Um, so with this said, we're continuously finding our niche within that 11th house. And right now we can have a focus on wanting to build in that area. So let's say we we form new friendships and this can be a week where some of us get an opportunity, you know, um, to go into business or start something, something Capricornian, something Aquarian like, right? So moon will be there. Moon will be also squaring Chiron, which is giving us the opportunity to heal as well as overcome any insecurities regarding those two signs or areas of life. Okay, so um, the the planets are, are moving forward this month. So they're gonna it's kind of gonna be like a thing of new levels, new devils. Okay, um, so endings of the old, but then new things coming about. But we're better able and know how to handle them based on. Uh, what we've been through in the past so then that capricorn moon is going to sextile venus so overall this week the moon is hitting so many personal planets in its transits leaning up to the new moon if you happen to have any planets being aspected by this moon or by those planets within your chart this can be a really significant time not you know how full moons are a time of manifestation i feel like the energy of manifestation for some is going to be coming about um lots of interesting things okay so the moon goes into aquarius mercury and jupiter been making this dance doing this conjunction which is really being given us the opportunity to assess our situation different situations in our in our lives uh, from both the higher mind and the lower mind. So, whatever philosophy, whatever thing we've been digging into over the last uh, few weeks, we can further gain understanding on that or even be more inclined to uh, communicate some type of truth uh, connected to that. Uh, in a bigger sense, this bodes well just for social interaction, okay? And like I said, for some, say this happened in your 12th, your 8th, uh, maybe even your, your 10th house, your knowledge for astrology might be highlighted, okay? Um, you may be calling on to be Mercury, Jupiter, teach, you know, express what you know, give a perspective. Um, I know for me, it's been working in a very interesting way. Um, throughout the last couple of weeks, I've, I've been seeing more than normal it's a crazy thing being on youtube i do run into people who recognize me but the frequency is far, far far apart so if it happens here it may not happen for like two months but it's happened frequently in the last couple of weeks so 
it's an attractive energy out there, particularly that with Venus being here in Pisces. So brings me to the Pisces energy. So like I said, we're building there. So moon goes to Capricorn, then Aquarius. Boom! Finish up with Pisces. I'm going to do the another video dedicated just to the new moon in that perspective. But the sun in Pisces approaching its annual conjunction with Neptune, which I found that this conjunction, this transit, is a revealing one. Other other transits are, will do that too. But when sun conjuncts Neptune, you really kind of get a, a grasp of where you stand on your spiritual journey. Things are highlighted. So your shadow side is highlighted, self-sabotaging qualities are highlighted, and all in all is the opportunity to get better. Also the ability to rest and recharge. So with all this influx of Pisces energy, lay low, enjoy some movies, take it easy, drink some wine, smoke a bun, alright? You know, so Sun conjunct Neptune here, all of that is great. Great for artistic inspiration, solitude, but really highlighting what what's real and what's not. Like, how am I holding myself back? Like, what boundaries do I need to create? Okay, so if it's happening like a 5th, 7th, 11th, 12th, some type of boundaries, right? Uh, so, like I said, you'll, you if you in alignment, you're going to be flowing with this energy, swimming in those waters, on your rituals, all of that, feeling good. Um, or if you're in the middle, strive to tap in, okay? Um, but very revealing on a personal level, and it can also just be revealing in an intuitive sense where things come to you, yeah, all right? And you understand better. Uh, but yeah, really interesting week. Feel free to chime in. Let me know what you think. This is my interpretation of this week's forecast. I'll be back at the end of the week talking about the new moon in Pisces. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so now. If you need to read it, click the description. Send me an email. We'll set something up. So next time, peace.